Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're really well. If you haven't been here before, my name's Julie. I am also known as Mrs. England's Emporium. Now, something I never mention is why I'm called Mrs. England's Emporium. So I used to be called Envira Style Apparel. I loved that name, but that was more aimed at me when I was selling just clothing. So I decided when I started going into other realms of reselling, and selling different items that I would need a more not a generic name but a more a name that would in sort of in let people know that I'm selling more than just clothing so I went for Mrs England's Emporium my my last name is England I got married to Rob in 2016 and that was when my name changed and yeah mrs england's emporium just had a nice ring to it an emporium is obviously a place where you can go and buy all sorts of really cool stuff and i love that name so that is why my name is mrs england's emporium um yeah so it's always a vlog i'm going to show you what's going on today um i don't think we're buying anything for the next few days because i bought a lot yesterday at the car boot um, on the last video you will have seen that I'm going to be trying to list some of this today I've got parcels to do today I've got all sorts and hopefully some good stories as well that aren't causing too much stress I want some nice stories to tell you so that's what I'm going to put out there into the universe <laughs> I want nice stories to tell my friends on, on um, YouTube and they said Instagram well my Instagram friends too they'll probably get a bit of it I went live last night on my um, Facebook group, very impromptu live it was, um, I just had a few spare minutes so I thought I'll go live, um, I keep promising I'll go live on that group and I didn't and it was lovely so thank you to those of you that came on and spoke to me, um, if you are interested in being in my Facebook group and coming on and chatting to me more in lives um, and obviously sharing more stuff, I don't share on there everything that I share on here, it's kind of different. Um, and it's a place where you can actually ask direct questions, post pictures and put all that sort of stuff to get help and advice. We're currently 50 strong. So if any of you want to join, the link is on the channel. Um, it's in the community tab if you go down. Um, if you want to search me anyway, it's Mrs England's Emporium and it's the group. I have got a page too, but that is kind of linked to my Instagram. So it just basically bounces across to there. I don't do much on there because I haven't got much of a following on there, but the group's doing really well. So thank you all for who've joined already. And thank you for the posts you put on. I love reading all the posts and reading all the comments. It's great. And just another way to interact with you guys. So if you are on Facebook, go on over it's a place of positivity help and enlightenment yeah i think so anyway let's get on with today if you enjoy the video like subscribe hit the bell yeah do all that help a girl out and you will get regular notifications then of when i upload sometimes i might do a surprise upload you never know just watching the retro girls do some dumpster diving while I am going to parcel these bad boys up. So, I've got three sales to show you here. Um, one not so good, the other two, okay. Um, I'm happy with them. They're not mind blowing, but they'll do. So this is an Ann Taylor cardigan. Um, I've had it probably about two months, if that. I don't think I've even had it that long. It's the one that I thought had like a pattern in the back of it when I photographed it. Um, it looked like a bed to me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to buy Ann Taylor anymore because it's only gone for £9.50 plus postage. This was on an offer. So, yeah, um, I just thought get rid. I'm in that mentality at the minute. Just get rid of stuff because I don't want it hanging around. This jigsaw coat I actually used to wear, for, wear myself for a while. I love it. Size medium. It's gorgeous. It's got like a zigzag. I don't know if you can see it really, but a zigzag sort of pattern to it. Oh, hey, we're getting the ka -tings. That's good. Um, yeah, so took a low ball on this. This has gone on Vinted. Um, I had it on eBay for, I think it was 49 99 which I know is quite a lot, but it is jigsaw and it's a lovely coat. Um, but it hasn't had any, any, any interest really. So I think I probably did do it too high. But then I probably did it high because I wanted to keep it. You know, it's that sort of thing. Anyway, I put it on Vinted 
for 40 and I got an offer for 25 and after speaking to Rob about it I decided to take it but yeah I was a bit reluctant because I really like this coat but yeah it's gone anyway 25 pound obviously no fees so all good and then I've sold this Paul Costello dressage dress this is a size 12 um I've had this oh probably getting on for a year um anyway it's gone for 19 pound plus postage it's really nice it's like a linen but it's lined as well um yeah, Paul Costello can be a hard sell for a reseller. Um, I don't know whether any of you have had any, um, you know, any, oh, I can't even think of the word. I don't know whether any of you have sold this before. Let's simplify it. Um, but for me, it hangs around. I do sell it eventually and I get okay money. But it does hang around. Now, I don't know whether that's because there's a lot of it. You know, like Ted Baker. Doesn't mean it's a bad make. It's a really good make. It's just, maybe it's just oversaturated on eBay. I don't know. But, yeah, £19 for it's brilliant. But, like I said, I've had to hold out for that for quite some time. So, yeah, I'm going to do my parcels now. I'm going to do these, what I showed you that Robert sold on the last video as well. And, yeah, we'll see what else happens today. Ha <laughs> ha. Just about to do my Instagram picture and I've just done all these. So I'm going to go for a week, get these packed up in the trolley and get these to the places they need to be. We've got to nip to Yodel drop off, which is round the corner, every and Royal Mail this morning. I haven't put shrink wrap on that because it went for like three quid and I'm running low. So I want to just save it for the bigger items really. But yeah. Quite a good weekend, I would say. This is really sad. Um, I heard someone speaking the other day in one of the other charity shops and they said that this had closed down permanently in his mind. I thought it was just shut the last time I filmed it on my video, but looks like it is actually closed. So what they're going to do with this, I don't know, and all the stock. Luckily, there's nothing I'm clawing at the window for. So I'm going to go have a look in Edge, Edge UK. This one has been really expensive last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> just scared me. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm going to have a look and see if there's anything. We've been real tight anyway at the minute, so I'm not going to spend loads of money, but really, really like that shirt. It's a Joe Brown's one. So I think Rob will probably go look at that now. Just see him in the window get points if you do. I've got to say, I'm really disappointed. Um, Age UK, the prices are so expensive. I've come out of there with nothing. And I used to spend probably £800 every time I went in there. But it's like, there is nobody in there. It is absolutely dead. And it is nearly 11 o'clock in the morning. Usually it's busy. And yeah, they've just got loads of stock. Loads of stock in the back room as well that isn't going out because there's no room. And all this stuff, the rum top was still there, and they've got it. Lit, they've got it up for fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. There's no wonder they're all shutting down, is there? Sad. Really sad for the charities. I'm going in here now. I'm hoping for better things. <laughs> oh, look at those cows. I know they're cats. There's a cow with them though. It's pretty cool. I love that job down there. I looked at that last time. That yellow and green one some real that's interesting that orange and yellow glass thing I'll have to have a look at that I think let's go see what we can find shall we keep our chins up what was I talking about being saying about being positive well, that one bad at all got quite a few things in there so I'm happier now <laughs> yeah Rob got loads from Age UK I didn't get anything so to go to one that's a little bit better pricing. Nearly knocking into sides of shops. Um, yeah, it's good. A lot better. Happier jewelry. <laughs> so, watch to the end. I'll show you what I got. Um, I think I'm going to go in one more while I wait for Rob. And um, yeah, we'll see. Let's see if I can find anything else that's good. Right here. 
let's go and have a look in here. <laughs> See if we found anything good. Let's look in the window first. Oh, for that. I think it is a remote control there. You know, I'm so naive. I don't even realise that J.K. Rowling did other books apart from Harry Potter. I mean, to be fair, she could retire on those. Let's go have a look. Okay, so I'm back home. Um, we ended up going to, well, I ended up going to three charity shops. Um, missed out the one we normally go to because I wasn't aware we were going to the charity shop and then I didn't take my purse, so I had to pay on my phone. So we didn't have any cards with us or anything, so we couldn't go get any cash out to go to the cash only one. So that was a shame, but got a few good things. So the last video I did when I went to the charity shops, I bought some of these Joe Brown's dresses. There was two more in there this time. So it's a no brainer, bought them and I'll put the quantity up on my shop. That's all I need to do. So I got two more of these, seven pound each. There we go, a 10 and a 12, really nice. Um, I picked this up just because I really liked the look of it. There are no labels in it at all. I don't know what size it is. I don't know what make it is. I don't know what it's made out of, but it feels like suede inside and it feels like um, fur leather, fur leather, fur fair even. Um, which obviously is what I want. I don't want it to be real fur. But all it was was 375 and they've put it as a large. I mean, I think this is at least a size 22, maybe a size 24. Um, I'll need to measure it up, but yeah, definitely worth picking up for that amount of money. Um, this is a make that I aren't aware of, um, but I'm now. Oddler. Um, this was five pounds. And it is a very, very thin, like, sports wear jacket, but it looks shell suity. It looks Y2K. Um, don't think it is. But, yeah, this will be good on, vin on not on Vinted, on um, Depop, I would have thought. Not sure how much I'm going to get for that. I know that it's really good, at really good prices for this, brand new, but don't know about used. Um, got this for myself, £6.50. It's just a nobody's child dress. Sleeveless dress for the summer. Bought that for myself. This is really cool. So this was only £4.50. It is a Susan Small made in England dress. It's vintage. And I do believe it's 1970s. Just have a look at this. Right, so we've got... That's Rob's eBay going off. Every time I do a video, his eBay is going mad. Um, I should do more videos. But yeah, it's got massive. That is a sleeve. That is a sleeve, right? <laughs> There's the opening of the cuff. And the sleeve is huge. And then you've got this bit at the front, which it's a zip. So that's the back, the, the collar. And then you've got a zip bit that goes down. And these huge sleeve sleeves. It's um, maxi. So it's got a really long skirt. I don't know whether this is like a night dress or whether it's an actual dress. I think it's a dress. I don't think anyone would go to bed in that, but it's cool. £4.50 for that. There's one on sale currently on eBay. Um, not the same as this, but the same make. And it's listed for £250. Now... <laughs> I aren't getting excited to that extent. When I've gone in the salts with Rob, they've gone anywhere from about £80 all the way down to about 20 So I think I'm going to try for 100 on this because it's really cool. I don't know how I'm going to photograph it. It's going to be a nightmare to photograph. Um, I might see if I can get my daughter to put it on. I don't know what size it is, but we can have a go. Then I pick these up. Now, these are made in West Germany, if you can see that. Um, I do know the make, but I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. pound forty-five. I Google lens these and, yeah, it did come up with the make and everything else. And they, they do go for quite good money. The bigger ones of these are obviously worth a lot more. These are two very small ones, as you can see. They fit in my hand. They're small, but... They're really nice and they come up straight away when you go Google Lens them. So 
I'm going to leave this on here for a second so you can screenshot it or take a picture and then Google Lens it and see what you can find and let me know what you find in the comments. Let's see what we can find out about these. Like I say, they're small. They're made in West Germany. There is a make making mark there, but can't really work out what it is. But yeah, they're cool. <sighs> Look. Look what I found. All in the same shop. I was so excited. So I need to show you something really creepy first <laughs> before I go into these. So this doll here. This is a Formosa made in Spain 1996 doll. Um, as you can see already, it is pretty creepy. It's in its original outfit. It was only three pounds, but look what it does, right? It's got like a lever inside. Watch this. Now, if you're faint of heart, look away. But if you're up for a laugh with dolls, then yeah, it is creepy that I'm warning you. It does that when you press the inside. I think it kind of turns into Chucky. It's a bit scary. Don't you think? Oh my goodness. I think it's supposed to make the doll wink. But it's terribly wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've sold 1990s for most of dolls before. Probably 20 to 30 pound. This one is in its original outfit. This one doesn't have any markings, but it's really heavy. It's in its original outfit. It's really good quality. The only problem is with her. Let me move those over there. The only problem is with her is that her hair has been hacked. There's a long bit there, a short bit there, a very dodgy short bit there. It's yeah, very hacked. But I don't think it'll matter too much because, like I say, original outfit. I'll Google Lens, i see what I can find out. I don't think I'll find out much because you know what it's like when you Google Lens dolls. You just get every single doll up <laughs> there is ever on the internet. So, yeah, she's lovely though. I reckon she's at least £30. Then these ones are a little older. So this one is a made in Spain for most of doll as well. But it's obviously older than the other one. Did I say how much the other one was? That was £3 as well. This one was £3 also. I don't think they're all £3, so bear with me. Now, she's obviously had a bit of hair loss, bless her, over the years, but she's old. Her eyelashes are still intact. Her, her um, blinking eyes still work. She's got a necklace and this lovely woolly dress with shoes. Now, while I was in the charity shop picking these up, I didn't realise that these were missing, these two shoes. And this lovely lady come up to me and she went, oh, I think you've dropped um, the shoes off one of the dolls you've picked up. There was one on the shelf and one on the floor. I didn't even see them. So massive shout out to her for letting me know that I dropped them. But yeah, she's she's a nice one. She's old. She's got brown eyes. Yeah, I'm hoping um, 25 on her. Another one, which is this one is made in Italy, believe it or not. I was convinced it was a made in Spain doll, made in Italy, it says on the back. She's got really blue eyes. I don't think I've ever seen eyes that blue. But yeah, her eyes are very loud. She's got no eyelashes. I don't know whether she's ever had eyelashes, but yeah, she's got this fabulous dress, which looks Spanish to me. Looks like a flamenco dress. Anyway, she was only £2. She's old, so I'm going to have to do a bit of research into her. She'll be going on my Etsy, as will, well, all of these will, to be fair. Now, this one is definitely an old doll. £3 for this one. Look at her. She has a rubber face. She reminds me very much of the doll I got from the car boot that's fingers had been chewed off. Um, Yeah, she's very old-fashionedly painted. She's got rubber arms as well. She's got... <laughs> shouldn't show them but she's got nipples which really freak me out i keep hiding them because they're horrible and then she's got like plastic legs so she's she's got a plastic body plastic legs but rubber arms and a rubber head um there is no markings on her but she's obviously got this made for her dress hat and booties someone's loved her and i do think all these have come from the same shop from the same house sorry because 
they're all in knitted outfits that are very similar but yeah she should be a good one she looks very old to me so yeah i've already named <laughs> so what did i name oh i named her oh i can't remember what i named her now i think it was vera i called her vera or something like that so let's send some names for these other dolls i think he's definitely chucky isn't he dma let's name them let me know some good doll names i've named one that i've got over on the side let me see if i can show you her can you spot the doll there she is look she's hidden she's hidden because my daughter's terrified of her she is named francis i don't know why i just give them names um so yeah she's vera and i don't know what these ones are called so give me some names in the comments let me know what you think <laughs> I'm going to have to do some listing now because I've spent most of today photographing all the stuff from the car boot. I've put two pairs of curtains into the wash, so they need to be washed and sorted and hopefully they'll come out fine. If they don't, it doesn't matter too much because they were 50 pence a pair. But yeah, I'm at the moment washing the white stuff dress and the shorts um, that Rob sold because they both had stains on. And when I got them out of the washer this morning, after washing them with some towels... They got bits of fluff all over them so that was fun so i've had to put them back in on their own so i'm hoping they will be nice and clean now and i can get them dried to post out tomorrow wish me luck peeps and say hi to vera i haven't been in here for a while with freddie have i hello fred sorry i have been neglecting him <laughs> anyway hope you've enjoyed the video um i have had such a going on with the toadstools that i bought from the car boot if you've seen that video let me know what you think and if you've got any idea how much they're worth rob thought he'd found them and that he'd got some information but he can't find it now we didn't screenshot it so he thinks he must have imagined it um i don't know i know they're cool and i know they're vintage but i don't know how much they're worth so i'm kind of guessing with prices at the moment i've put them on ebay for 50 pound each obviously with best offer and i've put them on etsy for 55 each but i don't know whether i'm too high i'm too low i mean time will tell won't it if they don't go quickly then i'll know i've priced them too high if they go too fast i'll know they are definitely too low um but i don't think i'll find anything like that again so if it happens it happens but i'll be happy with that price um but we'll see We'll see what happens. I just thought, go with the price that I'll be really, really happy with. And if it goes, then I can't be disappointed. That's the thing anyway. I think the problem is when you find something that's really rare and you can't find anything on it, it's really hard to know what to go for price-wise. In the past, I have usually priced high and I've usually got what I've wanted for the items because they're rare, because they're unique and because they're cool. A few things off the top of my head that I can think of. I found a Dr. Frankenfurter doll and it did look exactly like Tim Curry. It was amazing. And it sang. You press the buttons on it and it sang. It is in one of my earliest car boot videos. I paid £15 for him and he went for 100 And I also found a um, Betty Boop wooden calendar with all the figures on it. That went for £160. I paid, I think I paid £25 for that. So when you pay up a little, you know, don't you? But when you get something like this that I've got from the car boot and it's from traders who really don't want it anymore, get rid of it. And they're like the mentality, just get it out of my face. <laughs> I get that. If you're unpacking the same things everywhere you go and nobody's buying them, it's going to get frustrating, but yeah, I've got such a bargain. 50 pence each. We'll see how we get on anyway. I'll keep you posted. It's um, it's exciting. And I'm really excited about all the dolls I got today. Like, I love finding dolls. And I haven't found any dolls for such a long time. And there's such an array of dolls there. Really unique. A brilliant price. And I have to tell you that I did do my law of attraction manifestations whatever you want to call them yesterday no day before before i went to Cabo, i said i am going to find some amazing things for a cheap price i'm going to make good profit on them. i'm going to be excited about them and i found 
the Magic Roundabout duvet at the car boot. I found those lovely glasses at the car boot. I found the corkscrew at the car boot. Now, whether that's worth anything, I don't know. We'll see. And then I found all those dolls today. You see, when I go out, as we know on this channel, I do not always find really good stuff. So I have to put it down to putting the positivity out into the universe. And you know, using the law of attraction to try and get good stuff. Anyway, I've been listing and I'm going to put my boy to bed now. I'm going to get my jammers on. I'm going to chill. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you liked about what I bought or what you didn't like about what I bought, if you want to go there. Um, let me know what you think to the prices. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you want me to cover on a future video and I will try my best to cover it for you. Anyway guys, take care, be kind, stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!